The Senate Budget Committee has released its fiscal 2018 budget resolution. This is the start of the process that will set up that fast track measure for congressional Republicans to overhaul the tax code through a tax bill. And the budget resolution, one important thing to remember is that it's not a typical bill. It never goes to the president's desk and it's not signed into law. It'll be adopted by Congress once the House version and the Senate version are compiled in a conference committee. And so the budget resolution this year will do one important thing, and that is send reconciliation instructions to the tax rating committees. Um, and the Senate budget resolution allows the Senate Finance Committee to add up to 1.5 trillion to the deficit over the next 10 years. And there is a second reconciliation instruction included in the Senate's budget resolution that allows the Energy Committee to find 1 billion in savings during the next 10 years. And we expect that that will provide an avenue to open up the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge to oil and gas drilling. And so another important thing that the budget resolution traditionally does is set the top line discretionary spending level for the next fiscal year, which in this case would be fiscal 2018, which begins on October 1st of this year. Um, but this year, the budget resolution won't actually have an impact on the top line spending level for the next year because the Budget Control Act, which became law in 2011, has spending caps set in law. So in order to actually raise the spending levels for fiscal 2018, lawmakers in the White House will need to reach some agreement probably before December 8th to increase those spending levels. And that will need to be an actual bill that gets signed into law, unlike the budget resolution, which does not get signed into law. So now that the Senate Budget Committee has released their budget resolution text, we expect them to hold a two-day markup. And after it's reported out of committee, it will go to the Senate floor where they will debate the measure and then have their marathon amendment voting session known as Votorama. And that is when the Senate stays in essentially all night and can vote on dozens, if not hundreds, of amendments on budget policy. Uh, the House budget resolution has already come out of committee and that's expected to go to the floor for a vote soon and after both of those resolutions are adopted on the floor, they will head to conference committee before reporting a final budget resolution.